Dun dun dun. Still plays games. Hello and welcome to another episode of The Oblivion Walker. As you can see, we're sitting here with the lovely Arania up on a mountaintop in front of a ritual's Listic Daedra. And we're waiting up for me to think what to do. And I have consulted the Book of the Daedra heavily. I have considered many different opportunities and possibilities. But we have decided that we are going to make a journey first here and then we are going to talk to mad, mad men. So here we are outside the stables and ah there he is. Yep, we need a ride. Where do you want to go? Climb and back and we'll be awesome. Off. Come on, love. I can't wait here for time to roll. We are on our way to solitude. Wonder if let followers in. Duels, wares, and weapons. All for sale. If you've come to solitude to join the Legion, speak to Ricker. If not, <laughs> things do not go well. In we go. We are in solitude. Here? Tell them he didn't do it. Kinda did, girl. Position. Sorry, you need to go home. Go home and stay there until your mother comes. You betrayed us. Have we look here and see what happens? You should tell Get him on with it. Betrayed his high king. Best she know now. All her. Rogvir, you helped Ulfric Stormcloak escape the city after he murdered High King Tori. By opening that gate for Ulfric, you betrayed the people of Solitude. He doesn't deserve to speak! There was no murder. Ulfric challenged Tori. He beat the High King in fair combat. Such is our way. I don't buy it. Such is the ancient custom of Skyrim and all Nords. And down you go. On this day. Hey, love, do you mind? Guard. I'm watching. Bye bye. Right. Let's take a wee run. So this is solitude and it is a pretty sweet place, honestly. Pretty much a polar opposite to uh, Windhelm, but you know it would be a polar opposite to Windhelm, cause Windhelm's uh, not pretty. See it soon enough. Right off to the Blue Palace we go. Sure, is that is that a Zora star? How did you come to possess such a rare treasure? Lots and lots of death and mayhem. W what's the walkthrough? It it details it in painful amount of detail. Okay, so we're in the blue palace. Apparently, royalty don't like you touching their food.
walk around and dadding on a bench. Everyone knows General Tullius wields the real power in solitude. Elisif? Yeah, she's a figurehead, a puppet. Watch. Got lots of things to take care of. We need to chat. Need yeah. something? Move. Oh, are you my gallant hero? Have you come to whisk me away to a life of adventure and romance? Key to open it. Um, we must return to the Book of Daedra to find out the missing clue. Ah! Ah! I find out what, uh, we've missed. We just went straight to the Blue Palace. One sec. Okay, so we're looking for a crazy fella. It's a bit expensive, Proud Spire Manor. Just a bit. And by just a bit, we mean ridiculously. Ooh, is that the crazy fella? I found the bone. I brought it to you, but still I refused. Ah. Wait, hear my plea. My master, he is lost be Why does everyone ignore me? Why do you turn your head? Have a cool piece. Oh, thank you. Divines, bless your kind heart. My master has abandoned me, abandoned his people, and nothing I say can change his That's mind. That's terrible. Now he refuses to even see me. He says I interrupt his vacation. It's been so many years. Won't you please help? Anything I can do. Last I saw him, he was visiting a friend in the Blue Palace. But no one as mundane as a yarl. No, no. Such people are low. Well, that's good. It's nice to have no, principles. We went into the forbidden wing of the palace to speak with an old friend. Said it had been ages since they had last had tea. Oh, and you'll need the hip bone. It's very important. No entering Pelagius's wing without that. Thank you. Oh, you just don't understand. Without him, I am not free. Without him, I am doomed. All of his empire shall fall into chaos. Well, in that case, we'll do whatever we can to help. Can't have an empire falling into chaos. Oh, hello. Huh? Yeah, I need to get into the Pelagius wing. Not in your life. It's dangerous in there. And Falk doesn't even like me and Erdy going in every year to clean out the spiders. If yeah, really totally to, asked me. Just be careful of the ghost. He snuck up on me once and scared me sick. It took a week for me to feel better. You can catch me at the Blue Palace later, if you want to talk. Yeah, sure, why not? Wait, hear my plea. My master, he is lost between worlds. I hope... Like you. No, you did not. You were always a security guard. Staying out of no. Getting into trouble. Uh, I'm just going in here, guys. Alright, one sec. Okay, so we've just adjusted our position and let's give this a go. We're getting reflection from the sun.
<laughs> Oops. Pushed around here. Think we've been moved. Wonder what'll happen next. Marty, Pelly, my dear. Oh, I couldn't. It goes right through me. Besides, I have so many things to do. So many undesirables to contend with. Naysayers, buffoons, detractors. Why, my my headsman hasn't slept in three days. You are far too hard on yourself, but dear, sweet, homicidally insane Pelagius. What would the people do without you? Dance, sing, smile, <laughs> grow old. You are the best septum. See the, the table? It's it's all all those things are vibrating. And that's hardly sport. You know, I was there for that whole sordid affair. Marvelous time! Butterflies, blood, a fox, a severed head, ho ho ho, and the cheese! To die! With. Good, I love cheese. Yes, yes, as you've said countless times before. How to rumpf! Well then, if you're going to be like that, perhaps it's best I take my leave. A good day to you, sir. I said good day! Yes, yes, go. Leave me to my ceaseless responsibilities and burdens. Herman. Hello. How rude! Can't be bothered to host an old friend for a day. It's despicable. Really? Yep. Oh, oh, what kind of message? A song! A summons! Wait, uh, I know! A death threat. Written on the back of an Argonian concubine. Ah, those are my favorites. <laughs> well, spit it out, Martel. I haven't got it. Okay. Already. Actually, I do. Little joke. But seriously, what's the message? Were you? Yes, I was. By whom? Wait! Don't tell me. I want to guess. Was it Molag? No, no. Little Tim, the toy maker's son, huh? Huh? The ghost of King Lysandus? Ah, oh, or was it one? Yes, Stanley, the talking grapefruit from Passwall. <laughs> I kind of wish it was the talking accounts, grapefruit. Ha! <laughs> no matter. But honestly, I don't want to know. Why ruin the surprise? But more to the point, do you, Tiny? Puny, expendable little mortal. Actually, think you can convince me to leave. We're willing to give it a try. Because that's crazy. You do realize who you're dealing with. A little, yeah. Hmm. Oh, pardon me. What are you saying, something? I do apologize. It's just that I find myself suddenly and irrevocably bored. I mean, really. Here you stand before Shea Gorath himself, Daedric Prince of Mad. You're a bit small, me. All you deem fit to do is deliver a message. How sad. Now that's the real question, isn't it? Because honestly, how much time off could a demented Daedra really need? Some? Lots? So, none? Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave. That's right. I'm done. Holiday! Complete! Time to return to the humdrum day to day. On one condition. Okay. You have to find the way out first. Well, good luck with that. Ha! I do love it when the mortals know they're being manipulated. Makes things infinitely more interesting. Care to take a look around? This is not, I dare say, the solitude botanical. It isn't, because uh, if it was, they've let things go. 
where you truly are. Welcome to the deceptively verdant mind of the Emperor Pelagius III. That's right! You're in the head of a dead, homicidally insane monarch! <laughs> oh dear. Now, I know what you're thinking. Can I still rely on my swords and spells and sneaking and all that nonsense? Mm. Sure. Not sure. Or you could use... The Wabachak! Huh? We're getting a new Did toy, ladies and gentlemen. A new toy. Oh yeah. Right. Let's give it a go. Let's go this way. You've headed down the path of dreams. Unfortunately for you, Pelagius suffered night terrors from a young age. Like? All you need to do is find something to wake our poor Pelagius up. You'll find his terrors easy to repel, but persistent. One man Z and B. Oh, look, it's a wee kid. Oh, isn't that nice? Oh, that was close. A sultry maiden, as far as the game's concerned. Oh, yeah, the dragon priest. Well, now that's something to crow about. With Pelagius up and about, you're moving right along. Ooh, treasure chest. You'll be home in no time. Can't. Let me search the chest. Give me stuff. You're very annoying. Has anyone ever mentioned you're very annoying? Like fun, but annoying, Shagaroth. Okay, well, that's one challenge down, and we are going to call it an episode here and we'll be back next time for the rest of this.